Number seven, Canadian tire pressure gauges are marked in units of kilopascals. What reading on such a gauge corresponds to 32 PSI? Okay, so PSI stands for pounds per square inch. Okay, so it's pounds, which is abbreviated as LBS, right? It's pounds per square inch. So basically, you could either say PSI or you could say LB per inches squared. It's the same exact thing, okay? So we're just going to say PSI because it's easier, but I just kind of want to give you the idea of what's really going on here. Now, for our tires, right, in our cars or in our bicycles, right, we measure our, our tire pressures in PSI. In Canada, right, our, our well, I'm from uh, United States, so my neighbor up north, they do the tires in kilopascals. So we just have to convert from PSI to kilopascal. I wrote down the conversion here that you guys should be familiar with. Your teacher or professor might want you to memorize them. So I would just flashcard it out, use, uh, you know, flashcards, do whatever you got to do to just memorize these conversions. One atmosphere or ATM is equal to 14.7 pounds per square inch or PSI, and that equals 101.325 kilopascals. So start with what you're given, 32 PSI times by a ratio because all we're doing is we're just converting from one pressure unit to another. PSI we don't want anymore, so that goes on the bottom. You throw the unit you don't want on the opposite side. Put the unit that you want, kilopascals, that could be represented as KPA, so that goes on the top. And now, just write out the number. Now since, what happened to that dot? There you go. Now, since these are equal to each other, 14.7 PSI equals 101.325 kilopascals. So 14.7 equals 101.325. Cancel out PSI, and now we will know what the tire pressure gauge is in Canada. There you go. So 32 times 101.325 divided by 14.7. And since we started with uh, two sig figs, Technically, our answer should be in two sig figs, so it would be 2.2 times 10 to the second, and that is kilopascal. You could also say 220 kilopascals, but I'll just put it in scientific notation, and we are done. Now, just remember that these two pressure units, they're equivalent to each other, so 32 psi is the same thing as 220 uh, kPa. And that's the end for this question. Hope for this help. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.